up very early. Uh, uh, what have we selected as the trolley went past, Suze? Uh, well, I've gone for a nice large glass, I think, of rosé today. Okay, which kind? Um, it's from France, and it's from Provence, and yes. it's called Maya. And it's very, very delicious. Uh, a blend of four different grapes, but super nice. Very good. Uh, half a pint for Matt. Yes, yes please. Much. <clears throat> Tonight's confession comes from Kevin. Uh, he's already got the smart speaker. Will he get forgiven? Father Simon and the Forgiving Few. My confession takes place in the year 2000. I was a 13-year-old boy, and due to some issues that I won't bore you with, needed to use an electric wheelchair for a time. Well, the excellent people at the Peter Alice charity were able to get me one, and of course, it being Peter Alice, it meant that it was going to be given to me at the 2000 Open Championship oh, at wow. St Andrews, the wow. home of golf, the as it's known. Golf. The way it works, Father Simon, is that the charity get businesses to donate a wheelchair to a deserving child. There were many different businesses all donating from banks to slightly bigger banks. I found out that I was the only one getting my wheelchair from a sports team. Okay. And that team was Manchester United, wow. who kicked off just a couple of minutes ago. He doesn't put that <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that bit up. Well done. I mean. To be honest, Simon, I can't say I was thrilled to hear this news, as I was and still am a Newcastle United fan. Okay. And in the 90s and the early 2000s, we were pretty good, but Manchester United always seemed to be just a little bit better mm -hmm. and always beat us. But anyway, I needed this chair, so I just had to suck it up. <laughs> says, says Kevin. <laughs> yeah, as, I mean, come on. As we yeah, didn't say yeah. in 2000. <laughs> Before I left, uh, my best friend Richard, who's a huge Manchester United fan, told me to get anything I could related to his beloved club, like an autograph if I had the chance. So we arrive at St Andrews, and all the children are presented with their wheelchairs. And because my one was donated by Manchester United, they had sent a special guest to represent the club. They had sent... The great England and Manchester United legend, Sir Bobby Charlton. Wow. Well, at first, by the time, I was quite awestruck to see such a great of the game, but it all went quickly downhill after Mr. Charlton asked me who I supported. Well, I said I supported Newcastle United. He then pulled a face and said, why do you want to support a team like that? Now, looking back, Father Simon, I can see that the great Sir Bobby was obviously just having a joke and a bit of fun, seeing that he is from Ashington and his mum was yeah. a diehard Newcastle fan and his uncle was our club legend, War Jackie, Jackie Milburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to my 13-year-old brain, he had crossed the line. <laughs> I was incensed. And being a 13-year-old wow. teenager, I did what came naturally. I folded my arms and I sulked and said <laughs> nothing. Oh, no. Clammed up. I shot him and anyone in my vicinity the dirtiest look that I could think of. I still have the picture of 20-odd beaming faces of children <laughs> all sitting in their new wheelchairs and me at the end with a face like thunder. <laughs> in my sulk, I completely forgot about getting anything for Richard and there was no way I was asking Sir Bobby for his autograph no, 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 after no. he'd been so rude about Newcastle United. <laughs> Well, I had two options as I saw it. I could explain to Richard what a child I had been and apologise, or I could fake Bobby Charlton's signature. Yep. Seeing as this part of the show oh. is called Confession, Simon, I think you can guess what I did. I produced what I considered a work of art, using some stiff white cardboard and my best pen. Richard was so happy, he still has the signature to this day, <gasps> and he still doesn't know. Oh, no, no. Here we are, 23 years later. I'd like to ask forgiveness, of course, to Sir Bobby for being a moody teenager and Richard for fooling him for all those years. I beg forgiveness. I mean, I always think these uh, these autograph ones are a bit shocking, because, particularly when the people still don't know. So there's your best friend, Richard. He got a Bobby Charlton autograph in Pride of Place, and it's a fake from your old chum. Sister Susie is shocked. Yeah, I am a shock, Kevin. Like, I understand you being a moody teenager, and you know, teenagers are moody. But the, like Bobby Charlton, you've you've got to be excited at meeting Bobby Charlton, yes. regardless of what team you support. And you could have just said, "Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't get an autograph." That's all you had to say. Whereas because I was in such a sulk. Yeah, because I was in a sulk, and you know, you've got the picture to prove it. And I think that would have been fine. I can't believe you still got it on your mantelpiece. No, 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 no not forgiven. I just love the idea of Sir Bobby having a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and go down well. And the 13-year-old going, 
Right, you have definitely <laughs> crossed the line. Yeah. The man, uh, I, I love man. the fact as well he refused to smile even for the picture. <laughs> yes. No, I'm still in the mood. Yeah. Um, oh, really, everyone came out of this winning, didn't they? Because you know, uh, Kevin got the wheelchair, his mate got a yeah, he got a he got a autograph. Fake. You know, fake. I mean, a it was fake. a fake autograph. But it isn't real. I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, surely, and he's very happy with his autograph. And you know, Bobby Charlton, you know, Man United had just won the treble; they were going to win the Premier League the next season as well. They were in the Premier League every every year. Yeah, not so much now. Um, so uh, everyone's for everyone's winning. So uh, you know, uh, definitely forgive. A little bit of editorial. Yeah, it was coming wasn't in that? there. Oh dear. Uh-